This is awkward. Welcome back to Every Disney Movie Ever. My name is Justin. I'm watching Every Disney Movie Ever. And I found a movie. Sabrina Goes to Rome, which you just saw on Monday. My friend Max found and sent it my way. And I didn't have time to correct the video you got on Monday. Because it, I was jam-packed the last couple weeks. So I didn't get a chance to remake the video until this week. But the video was already up and uploaded. It was a whole thing. So today I'm adding all the additional stuff about Sabrina Goes to Rome right away. I covered a bunch of the big information for Sabrina Goes to Rome in the first video. The link will be in the description. Be sure to watch that. It came out Monday, so it's not a big gap. But there are obviously a bunch of characters that I didn't know if they were starring or main characters, what have you, until I watched it. So I'm going to be adding a bunch of actors, and they are Eddie Mills, Tara Strong, Eric Alexander, and James Fields. Eddie Mills plays Paul and is best known for t Dancer, Texas Pop 81, Without a Trace, Wannabe, and Winter Break. Tara Strong plays Gwen and is best known for Batman and the Killing Joke, The Powerpuff Girls, My Little Pony, and Fairly Odd Parents. Eric Alexander plays Alberto and is best known for Dapio Double, Tuffy, Insula, and At War with Love. James Fields plays Travis and this is his only credit. Okay, so Sabrina's in Rome. She's in Rome because she's got this locket from an ancestor that she has to figure out how to open in like a week. Otherwise, all bets are off for that ancestor, like she's trapped or something. I don't know. And they talk about how the ancestor, Sophia, they talked about the rule where if you tell a mortal you're a witch and then that mortal tells the world, you either can stone that, turn that person into stone, or you can get stripped of your magic for exposing blah, 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 blah. So uh, the film is cringe. It's super 90s. It's not very good. The plot is super weak. Um, basically... At the same time that Sabrina's trying to find out how to open the locket and discover more about Sophia, she's falling in love with this guy Paul, and it's only over a week, and it's like they put so much into the love story. It's kind of cringe. Uh, I'm not crazy about it. The effects are very good. It, uh, it really reminded me of the show. I really remember liking the show, and I loved her in Harvey, so I... Or Harvey, not Duncan. Harvey. And... I just didn't like this. I didn't like that she was falling in love with some guy over the course of a week while she was in Rome trying to discover some ancestor stuff. I didn't like it. It was kind of cringe. I really liked Gwen and Alberto's side story. Gwen accidentally turning Alberto into a pigeon and then having to kiss all the pigeons in Italy, basically, in Rome to try and save him. Um, I really liked that side story. I thought that was good. And then I really enjoyed the story of Salem and the guinea pig. I forgot the guinea pig's name. That was very funny and entertaining. The scene that I'm probably the angriest about is the scene where Sabrina grants Paul's wish to meet a bunch of family, and it was nighttime, and they're at the Trevi Fountain, and then all of a sudden she's like, I'm granting your wish, and it's daytime, and he runs up and hugs all these people that supposedly his family, and then like he doesn't spend any time with them and just runs back to her and thanks her, and they make out, and they're back in Rome at night in front of the Trevi Fountain. I'm so confused about that scene. It's really aggravating to me. I like, I don't like it. I hate it. And speaking of his family, that's a whole confusion, confusing thing. I can't tell if there's parent deaths or not. So I'm going to talk about an argument. I don't think I'm going to count it, but if you guys think I should count it, I'll add it to the parent death numbers and we'll just count them. But hear me out, parent deaths, okay? He says nothing about his birth parents. He never mentions his birth parents, doesn't talk really anything about them. He does say that he had people who had adopted him, but he refers to it as an old couple that an old couple that had adopted me passed away. And he's obviously still very young. So I don't think he looks at the old couple who adopted him as his parents. I don't think and like that's hard because I am all about adoption and I think Adoptive parents are parents. They're just as much as the parents as any birth blood related parent I'm all about that. So I feel I should count those parents But the way he tossed out the comment like and he's so young and maybe he's only with them for a short period of time I don't think he counts them as his parents. So I feel like I can't count them as his parents So they shouldn't be parent deaths. So I'm really Gonna have to leave it as a judgment call for you guys. I think I'm leaving it up to you. Do you think I should count those two deaths as his parent deaths? As parent deaths, or should I just leave it? Totally up to you guys. I'm leaving that argument. Comment down below whether I should count parent deaths or not. Also, on top of the whole romance thing, I just the reason it's even more ridiculous is because Paul 
was like lying to her a lot of the time, trying to catch her doing magic so he could expose it to the world. And then she tells him she's a witch after a week of knowing him. She tells him she's a witch and then like thinks he might tell the world. And she says she can't turn him to stone because she loves him. And it's only been a week. You've been a witch your whole life and you love being a witch. And then a guy you met for a week you tell you're a witch, and then he's going to expose you, and you can't turn him to stone because you love him? You've known him for a week, and he might jeopardize everything you love? No! I, I hate it. Okay, uh, that's everything I have for the found of Sabrina Goes to Rome. Um, I'm glad I got to watch it and kind of poop on it. Sorry, Sabrina. I really liked the show, so I don't know what about this movie is making me be like... Mm -hmm. But that's everything. Uh, the original movie count literally just happened so the movie count and then uh parent death is up to you guys comment down below whether i should count them or not count them and then i'll update the number depending um cry count is still the same if you want to keep up with movie watching when i'm following me on instagram tell you find out what movie watching when i put up videos every monday and friday sometimes wednesday join patreon buy merch until next time comment like subscribe and subscribe you are so you do and don't be travis about it he was trash <laughs> that's everything Oops. <laughs>